You want to be free. You are looking for true freedom, freedom from, from fear and from vice. Turn away from sin and embrace the divine Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today's Gospel is presented to us by St. John, chapter 8, verses 31 to 42. And here the Lord says these words to the Jews who believe in Him. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free and the truth will set you free. Commenting on this passage of the Gospel of the Evangelist uh, St. John, um, St. John Paul II explains that these words of our Lord contain both a promise and a warning. The promise is that we will find true freedom and liberation if we enter into an honest relationship with regards to truth, with regards to Jesus, who, as we know, is the way, the truth, and the life. And the warning, yes, the warning is to be careful not to fall into the false and illusory, illusory freedom of the world that is superficial and selfish. Because the freedom the world offers is, in fact, a servitude to sin and to vice. Today, the world struggles to understand the true meaning of freedom. What is freedom? Yes, what is freedom? Well, freedom today usually means freedom to do as I please, freedom to do as, as I want. But this worldly notion of freedom is a big lie. It's an illusion that hides or masks the enslavement of one's passions and unruly desires. The freedom of error, or to live in error, is not freedom, but servitude. Speaking, speaking on the notion of freedom, St. Augustine says that the freedom of error does not bring life, but death to the soul. Now, Jesus here in today's Gospel is offering us true freedom. Freedom from the slavery of fear. Freedom from the slavery of selfishness. Freedom from the slavery, slavery of vice. The good news of the Gospel is that God has sent His divine Son, Jesus, to free us from the slavery of sin. We are invited to pass from sin to son from being slaves to being free. How is this possible? Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can receive the grace to accept and to embrace His way of love and of holiness. A disciple. A disciple is, is a follower and a listener. So, if we listen, love, and follow the teachings of the Lord with a humble and contrite heart, he will give us the grace and the power to follow Him towards holiness. So, during Lent, we are called to confront the ignorance that takes us away from God by opening ourselves to the inner voice of the Holy Spirit through prayer, through penance and, and almsgiving. We will find the wisdom um, to walk away from the illusion of sin and to embrace the truth and freedom of the Son. So may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.